To Yemen now, where the exiled President Abu Dhabi Mansur Hadi has backed out of United Nations brokered peace talks. He said the rebels first have to give up their arms and withdraw from the areas they've seized. Forces loyal to the president have also started a major offensive to retake the province of Marib. Well, in September last year, Houthi rebels took control of the capital city, Sana'a. In March, President Abu Dhabi Mansur Hadi fled to Saudi Arabia after Houthi rebels started to advance toward the south of the country. Saudi Arabia then set up a coalition and started bombing Houthi positions. An estimated one and a half million Yemenis are internally displaced and over four and a half thousand people have died since March this year. Well, for more on this, we're joined by Samna Alhamdani from Washington, D.C. She's an analyst at the Sana'a Center for Strategic Studies. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, are you surprised by Abu Dhabi Mansur Hadi backing out of these talks? Yes and no. To be completely honest, I'm not that surprised just because a lot of dialogues have fell through. It's been six months of war so far and uh, no actual negotiations materialized. And it started with the Riyadh conference, where President Hadi and his allies met with each other and refused to meet with the opposition. In this, in this war, it is the Houthi militia and allied with former President Saleh that need to sit on a table and talk one-on-one -on -one with Hadi's government. I'm not that surprised, mainly because the Arab coalition headed by Saudi Arabia does not seem to want a, a, a conflict resolution uh, coming out of a peace agreement. Uh, they actually want to uh, end this war militarily and kind of defeat the Houthis. And so it's not surprising that President Hadi would have this position considering he's residing in Riyadh at the moment. Uh, talking about ending this war militarily uh, with Egypt and the UAE committing more troops, um, is a military defeat the only outcome? I mean, how is this going to be resolved? Well, realistically speaking, there needs to be a peace settlement. President Hadi needs to ask for a peace settlement more than anyone. The Houthi militia, on the other hand, has committed so many mistakes. Uh, they have talked with the UN envoy to Yemen and said that they are prepared to accept United Nations Security Council Resolution Number 2216, which President Hadi keeps on insisting that the Houthis uh, start to implement. So this resolution, uh, the Houthis have agreed to it primarily, but not officially. And the Houthis need to show that they are serious about accepting this deal and that they are serious about peace. And so in this regard, all parties involved are not very serious about peace. While getting the hopes of the Yemeni people up, everybody on the ground is looking for an end to this, mainly because of the humanitarian crisis that's taken place at the same time. Another thing that we need to look at is the Houthis are now out of the south of Yemen, out of the city of Aden. However, President Hadi has not been able to secure that area. He still remains in exile, and chaos is taking over the city of Aden, where several assassinations take place in a week. And so we need to put a plan in place where President Hadi and his government can come back to Yemen and they can negotiate with all the local actors on the ground in order to move away from war and start to resolve what has happened during this war and to kind of end and deal with the humanitarian crisis that Yemen is facing. Okay, I mean, tell us about how dire the situation is. What, what's been the, um, the, the civilian cost of the, of the war so far? It's been very high. So to begin with, Yemenis are finding it very hard to go to other countries. So unlike Syrian refugees who are able to get out of Syria, a lot of the Yemenis are kind of trapped in due to a siege that's taken place. Only those who are financially capable of getting out of Yemen can do it. And unfortunately, Yemen is a very poor country. It is the poorest Arab country in the Arabian Peninsula. And so having said that, we are witnessing a war that is taking two forms. First of all, in the south of Yemen, in the provinces of uh, Ta'az and Madab, we have ground civil war taking place between popular resistance uh, militias and Houthi militias. So there's a lot of on the ground fighting. The hospitals are not able to sustain themselves because there's no electricity and not enough medicine coming in. So even those who survived the battles or the stray bullets cannot even stay alive because the hospitals cannot cater to them. Uh, blood is running out. Nobody's donating enough blood and hospitals can't keep people alive. Besides that, there is, again, no electricity, no water. Schools have been closing. Students have not been able to get the education that they need to get. 
And on top of that, we have a million, around a million five hundred thousand Yemenis internally displaced. Mm -hmm. And what they've been doing is uh, they've been setting up makeshift tents and they've been residing there, yeah. escaping from one area to the other to escape the fight.